Okay, good news, bad news. The easy out on one of the head bolts got it out, I think, enough that I could grab it with pliers or vice grips and get it out. The bad news is the easy out broke. So let's get this one out and figure out something for the other one. Beautiful. Okay, I have three more easy outs, and I believe I have three more manifold bolts. One more in this head, two in the other head. I would like to not burn through all of the easy outs, especially since one of them is larger than the bolt, but, uh, Got to do what we got to do. I got the most important one out that I needed to get out, causing no further damage. I've gotten this one manifold bolt out without causing any further damage. This one is gonna be a problem and I'm hesitant to try and do it on the other head because I just think I'm gonna run into the same issue. So I either need to find somebody that can weld me a couple nuts or buy a welder. So we'll, we'll see, but I think in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and get this head cleaned up. Uh, I did want to paint the heads, but I think I'm going to have to hold off on that until I can get these goddamn bolts removed. Uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from this. The GoPro's about to die. I kind of want to film this head being cleaned up at least a little bit.
So I know I said earlier on in this video that I was probably gonna have to pick up a welder to get some broken bolts out of the heads, but I'm a glutton for punishment. So I went and picked up a punch set, a different extractor set. It's titanium and it's supposed to last 50% longer, so maybe I won't break this one, I don't know. Um, but that being said, I'm gonna attempt to pull out two more broken exhaust manifold bolts from these heads. So let's see how it goes. Easy outs are not the good. Um, I pre-drilled the bolt, put my easy out in there. No, no good, it's not, it's not coming out. So what I did was I took a Torx, like a T10 or T15, and I've hammered it into the bolt where I drilled the hole and I'm gonna see if I can impact it out now so let's see if that works I feel like it moved a little bit. Okay, we're escalating. We're not escalating very well though. Okay, we're changing the plan again. I drilled it out some more and I put my easy out in there on the impact and I, th I think it's moving. So let's see. Victory is mine. That's one. Well, I may have spoke too soon, or not really spoke too soon, but I was uh, celebrating a little too soon. So I did get that one out, uh, and I was working on the other one, and I thought heat helps. So as the easy out was in there, I put my impact on it, and then I heated it up with a torch, and the easy out kind of exploded. So now I've got part of the easy out stuck in there, which is hardened and my titanium drill bit won't drill into it. So I think I'm back to needing a welder to get this one out. So I've got one stuck in this head and one stuck in the other head. So. I mean, I, I am ahead of the game from where I started, but I think I'm going to need a welder unless I can, I don't know, go buy a new drill bit, a sharper drill bit, and see if I can drill into that, which, knowing myself, is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to put myself through major punishment before I finally break down and buy a welder. So... Uh, that being said, we're going to put the heads aside uh, for now. And I've tore the front suspension apart. So I have the K-member and my other stuff, lower control arms, upper control arms, struts, springs, everything is all disassembled. So I think, so I think what we're going to do now is... Uh, I'm going to clean up the K-member and get it painted and we'll just kind of go from there. I mean, we don't call this Scott's Chaos for nothing. I'm kind of all over the place 
Uh, it's a chaotic mess in my shop. Um, so just kick back and enjoy the ride and we'll see where we get to. Well guys, got just about everything painted up. I still need to do these lower control arms, but I've got to get the bushings pushed out first. I'll probably, probably do new bushings and ball joints before I paint them or paint them when they're pushed out before I push them in, Some, something like that. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, it's taken a lot longer than I thought to do all this, but you guys are hanging in there with me and I appreciate it. So I got the engine bays all painted black. That's been done for a while. And then the whole interior. 
It's all painted black. Yeah. The car's kind of a catch-all right now. But, uh... So, someday it'll be done, guys. Um... So I'm just waiting for piston rings and push rods to come in now. Uh, once those are in, I'll get the pistons put in. And I'm going to purchase a cam here pretty soon. And pack 1218 springs. Uh, I've got a whole gasket kit. So my birthday was back in September and my soon-to-be son-in-law got me a whole gasket kit from I say Molly but he says Mola um, so that's cool um, I think it's got like new valve seals uh, rear main seal every every gasket I think you can imagine um, I've also got the valves are cleaned up pretty good. <clears throat> so that's one, three, five, and seven. Two, four, six, and eight are in another area, so I don't get them confused. Uh, I have to lap those yet. Um, still have those damn broken bolts in the exhaust uh, manifold here in the head. Uh, so... You're not going to see me do a dance just yet. I, I just can't get them out. I think I've got the wife talked into a little flux welder. I think that's what it's called. Uh, so hopefully that'll get them out. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to at least get something out there in YouTube land for you guys. So you could see that there is some progress being made. Uh... I'm going to get uh, some suspension parts so that that K-member and all the front suspension can go back together before we mount the motor back on it. Um, so here pretty soon, I think we'll start seeing some parts coming in and we'll start hopefully rolling good on this thing. It's got a long way to go yet. I mean, even after the motor's in, we got wiring, harness, rework. To at least get it started and running and then uh, new brakes new front uh, shocks new rear shocks uh, paint the entire outside of the car windows tinted that kind of stuff I mean we're going full bore on this thing uh, when I decided that I wanted to build a car I decided I wanted to build a car so we're just going to go full on on it and see how it turns out. I think my battery is about to die here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys see that there's progress being made as slow as it's going. And I have to tell you that when this thing is done, in my mind, it'll be a work of art. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. And I'm out.